Uh, that was a good one here. We'll run this one whether the monsters have vulnerable resist, because I don't vulnerable anyway, and it's got some cool magic find on it, and yeah. Let's go. How did you learn of Mephisto's presence? His presence clings to every stone inside these walls. Even now he conjures images, whispers, cowardly illusions meant to test my faith. I found records here. Murals, books, some scrolls. They tell of this fort's purpose. Sanka Kaur's fate is well known, but to think his body is here. This darkness is... It clings to you. It tries to drown you. For the light, we cannot fail. I stand for the light. Let us purge this place of Mephisto's presence. Even though he, you know, he's kind of a kind of a cool demon. Like he, he's the the chillest of demons. Ha! May we scour away any trace of Mephisto's corruption. These halls were sealed long ago to contain the darkness. Now I shall cast them open to bring in the light. It's not what we're actually going to do, though. Um, because, you know, I've, I've had a problem before once where, like, the server went down or I had to re-log or something or other while a Nightmare Dungeon was open and it just, you lose your Nightmare Dungeon. Which is a downer. Straight in with a duck at the start. What a crazy dungeon shape. Ugh, serpents. Why do they have to be serpents? Our only objective is to travel to the hunting grounds. Collect animus from the animus carriers. There's our final door.
That was one tough egg, I can't be bothered. Oh man. Probably one or two more animus carriers, and I think we're through. Destroy the Ward of Eyes. Three quantity. Ah, oh, it's cursed. make the uh, bonus because I couldn't see what was an extra pack and what was just uh, this pack that I pulled. There he was, this was the guy I think we needed. Wow, yeah, just one basic skeleton hiding at the back. Never mind. It's counterintuitive to clear before getting the conduit because the conduit helps you clear if it's not cursed. Hey, you got a unique. Trying to think if we killed uh, someone called Molon or not. Like, I got no idea if that was me. Oh, it's our redemption arc.
We got the mastery for this. And then some. Lord. <laughs> that that was a bit. And this was a dungeon with a modifier for like extra magic find, I think. Let's uh, quickly confirm. Yep, you find more items from enemies. Oh, well, just specifically from enemies, but still. Click the right one. This should be ahead on the interface now. So all I need to do is remember to do one little hop. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'll chuck out uh, a blue. No, wait, even better. I'll chuck out this ruby. Used all the experience. And we're out. Let's go see what we go and get. Proper tools of vengeance. Have a look. That's a deal. Ah, we got a new, we got a new Mad Wolves. I was talking about how uh, instead of bear, constantly maybe a new one of these, and yeah, hopefully the rolls are good on that. They don't look particularly high, but we shall see. Yeah, give it over. I'll shake on that. Okay. Enjoy the swamp. Get away from uh, the vendor so we don't accidentally click the click. That's in a difficult place where there's too much stuff that you would need to enchant off of it. It's got wolf, but then it's got earth and web air. So the only real way to fix it is to be an earth werebear and get rid of the wolf bit. But if we were doing that, it's not as good as what we've already got. So uh, I think that's going in the bin, regardless. Because I just can't make use of it. Um, this might be something. Oh no, it's the same. It's the same bear boots effect. Evade grants. 50% movement speed for a second. Hmm. I can't seem to be using that for any character whatsoever. That's going to go in the, uh, the bin. What have we got here? 
Uh, I think those are worse than my legs that we got just now, so we might be out of in these as two. Then sixty-two percent increased damage. That's got to be a that's got to be a neck bonus because the last time we saw that wasn't anywhere near that high. Let's see. That's weird, because that's part of a companion build, plus one rank to all companions from the modifier, and I don't think with a companion build you'd be able to make the enemies unstoppable by hitting them with too much crowd control. Maybe. Maybe the root from the, the rooting thing. But yeah, I'm so almost certain that the, these are bad. I'm just going to destroy them while I'm here. Materials. Oops. So this is our uh, our old no wait that says we have bear on it. This one says wolf. I do remember why I put that in here though because this just wasn't one that I was going to use. It might have been useful for like a like a hybridy spec. So um, yeah. So if we take our piece off. Put this over in here. So that we can put on our old wolf beast, just for comparison's sake. Then we get the, the tool dip up. So, 105 more item levels, a load of extra armor, which is quite important, it seems. And even without uh, the three upgrades on this one, we're looking at. Interesting. The bonuses aren't really jumping out at me so far. We've got tons of materials and tons of money. Let's let's make both of these rank five, and then compare them apples to apples. How can I help? Oops. Is always hot. Here we go. Old on the left, new on the right. Less physical damage, upsetting. Same poison. A more damage reduction, which which the wolf can use. Um, significant. And some more movement speed. Yeah. You know, I think if it if it came down to it, I probably would wear the new version. And it comes with two sockets on it. So, pretty good. I probably should destroy the old one, but I'll wait for a bit. Right, how many ogles we got? Far too many. Hmm. That brings us up to three once we use it. Then we might find three in the dungeon. Let's try and drink an experience potion as well. Brings us up to four. Um, 